when the Ukraine war lead to Pax Judaica? Um, uh, Dean, the, tra the transfer from Pax Britannica to Pax Americana could not take place without two world wars. As a consequence, I have come to the conclusion, others more learned than I am, who knows you. But this is my view. And uh, Alhamdulillah that there are large numbers of people now who have confidence in me and my views. Alhamdulillah for that. I worked for 25 years in this field of Islamic eschatology. And so I have come to the conclusion that the passage from Pax Americana to Pax Judaica cannot take place without a very big war. Our Prophet, Allah's, Allah's blessing be upon him, has prophesied the Malhama. And uh, the Christian eschatology has Armageddon. Will the conflict in Ukraine escalate? to become the Malhama. The Russian government has been warning and warning and warning again and again and again, warning NATO that if you continue like this, you are taking us to the Great War, nuclear war. But there is a group of people in the Western world who control power. They control power in Britain. The British people can do what they want these people control power. The Pakistani people can continue to support Imran Khan, the whole of Pakistan, but this clique said, no, we are the ones who will decide. We hold power, okay? So these are the ones who are lusting for war with Russia. But I don't think the American armed forces want to fight Russia. I believe they must prefer to fight Libya than Russia. Russia has been blessed by Allah. I have, in several of my lectures, I've used the Quran to explain Russia's phenomenal rise to power, military power in the world. I may be the only scholar who has used the Quran to explain it, but I'm accustomed to being the solitary. I'm accustomed to being the lone voice uh, for 25 years, things like that, Dean. But if I am correct, it will survive. Truth will survive. So far, Russia has been able to contain the war in Ukraine without escalating it so far. And Russia, instead of a massive onslaught on Ukraine to finish the war in one week, Russia has chosen a wise policy, a, an incremental war in which they work piece by piece, slowly, 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 to achieve the end, their goals. Russia has already achieved much of the goals she attempted to. Ukraine can never again enter NATO. That's not possible. Ukraine can never pose a military threat to Russia. That's gone, finished. Uh, Crimea has been recovered and Ukraine will never re recover Crimea. Not, even Henry Kissinger is now saying you have to give up your claim on Crimea. And the region of Ukraine, which is Russian speaking, the Donbass region, Russia is now incrementally taking control of that entire area. This is all that Russia wanted in the war. Russia never wanted to take control of the whole of Ukraine. So Russia is achieving her objective, but doing so slowly and incrementally. The Western world does not want peace in, in Ukraine. Even though the Security Council of the United Nations adopted a resolution unanimously calling for the Secretary General to be supported to seek a peaceful end to the war in Ukraine. The Western world does not want peace. They want war. And the only way they can stop, stop Russia from achieving all Russia's goals in Ukraine is if they can expand the war. 
This is now their plan to try to see how we can expand the war. The most likely means through which they will seek by proxy, of course, to expand the war is through Poland. If Poland were to do anything, anything at all, to intervene militarily in Ukraine, the Russians have promised that their response would be immediate and ferocious. They've already declared that. And when Russia says they're going to do something, you better listen, because Russia does what Russia says it will do. The Western world knows that this is how Russia will expand. Like they knew that if we have the war in 1973 between the Arabs and Israel, <coughs> the Western world knew that King Faisal would impose an oil boycott on the West. And they wanted that oil boycott. They wanted it. And the, red, the price of oil rose dramatically by 400%, from $3 a barrel to 12 And that was the road which led to the petrodollar. That's what Kissinger wanted. So they know that if, Russia, that if um, Poland were to intervene militarily in Ukraine, they know that the Russian response will be immediate and ferocious. And that's what they want. Because that could lead to a rapid escalation of the war because Poland is a member state of NATO. And so while Russia is warning and warning and warning that this can lead to the Great War, they don't care to be us for that. And they're taking mankind to the Great War. Will it take place? I believe it was going to take place because they want it. How soon will the Malhamma take place? Dean, only, the only answer I can give is soon. How soon? I don't know. <laughs>